Today we're going to take it actually go for a ride. So I put this new phone mount on. I wanted to show that. It's a uh, law abiding biker website, Ryan Ulcher. So if you want to check out law abiding biker, this mount here is like about $60. A friend of mine just purchased one. He lost his phone, ran it over, and everybody behind him ran it over. So he actually bought one. I got one. And it has a lot of tension on it, so I'll show you how it works. It'll hold about any phone. Goes like that. And uh, you're good to go. It's not going to come out of there. It's got uh, four springs on it that holds it in there. So we're going to take a little ride. I think we're going to go to Grand Marais. And when we get to Grand Marais, somewhere along the ride, I'm going to announce who won the Hummer. So the announcement will be out today. I'm going to also try out my... GoPro, a bunch of stuff I'm taking to Sturgis to see if I can get it figured out before I get out there, otherwise I'll probably end up smashing it off. So let's go for a ride and see how this works out. Here's a close up on how this works. There's some springs in it. My friend's got an otter box or something like that, he calls it on his. This is deep, he said about 60 bucks. So if you want one, go to his website, check it out, go to his store. I get nothing out of it. I don't have anybody sponsoring me. I'm just showing it. So, let's get old for a ride. Okay, we're riding up uh, 77. Better to see me. Got a lot of traffic headed north. Which means that a lot of the tourists are headed back to uh, where they come from. There's the entrance to the Sini Wildlife Refuge that we've been back to. I don't know how interesting it's going to be watching me drive down the road, so I'll shut it off here in a little bit. I'm not going to waste your time watching this road go by. I'm going to show you the Sini Wigwams, which I did not show you before. It's a little picnic area, and if you're coming up through 77 on a motorbike, it would be a spot for you to hide out, get out of the rain, I'll pull right in there. So they got a couple of grills here, a couple of picnic tables. So if you were up here in a rain, you could get there. Maybe you could even camp there. I don't think they lock a gate at night. So this would be a place you could stay on old Mr. Joe until he finds out about it. Picnic area, right off the 77. Okay, this is Sini. Anybody lives up here, they know where I'm at. If you don't, you gotta head north out of Sini on M77. the end of the world, Grand Marais. Once you get there, you can take H58, everybody knows. I don't talk about what Harley's got going on, but they released a new bike, the Sportster S on Wednesday. Not for me, more for a younger person, I think. Give it like 120 horsepower. Same motor as in their uh, Pan America that they just came out with. I think that's got like 150 horsepower. I think they detuned it a little bit, they said. And they'll probably sell you the stuff to retune it back up. 
runs about 15,000 from what I'm seeing. So if anybody's looking for that, I'm sure it's a nice plate. I think they made it to compare with the Indian. I'm not up on my Indian bikes, but I think they made it to compare with that. They're going to have them in Sturgis, so maybe I'll get a chance to test drive one out there. If the opportunity there to drive it, I'm going to try it, just for the heck of it. I hear they're giving me test rides on the Pan American, so if they are doing that, I might test ride that. You never know. I've done stupider stuff. Not much between here and Grand Marais. If anybody from outer state ever watches my videos, comes up here riding. Pretty uneventful from here to Grand Marais. I'm gonna come back out and turn the GoPro back on and we'll get back to Grand Marais. I guess I can announce the uh, winner of the winner of the Hummer. I'm gonna wait till I get the Grammarie to do that and I get off the bike so you can hear me real good. Stopped and got some gas here in Sini. There's two gas stations in Sini. It's a good idea to get some gas where you come up here. I've been up here when they are out of gas. And if they're out of gas, you know where you're at. Grand Marais now. I was talking about the Sportster earlier, the new Sportster S. The size motor in it. So it's like $15,000. Uh, I seen a Sportster was introduced, came out of market in 1957. And uh, actually 1957 is the same year I came on the market. So there's two good things. I guess it came out in 1957. Me and the Sportster. And I think they opened up the Mackinac Bridge. That's all I got up here. So there's three good things that happened. Even though I have never been on the Sportster, I've been always uh, more into the bigger bike. Uh, anywhere you're going up from Michigan, you got to carry lots of clothes. You might start off with uh, 80 degree weather and we're rolling into Grand Marais and as we start dropping down the hill here, I already feel it cooling off, getting up here next to the Superior refrigerator. So we'll keep the video rolling here, we'll go into Grand Marais and I think we're going to take a run over to H58. Head over toward uh, Unicine. That's a black top. They just black top that here. I guess it's been probably 10 years ago now that they black top that through there. They've been talking about going the other way to Newberry. You can see Lake Superior out there. be big in the winter time, now it's big in the summertime. With the side by sides there's all kinds of riding you can do up here now. Now we get down here, we're gonna make a little turn to the right, and just take a little detour around town and show you what we got.
Lake Superior. We'll pull over here and get a good view of Lake Superior, the boats. Lots of people kayaking, practicing kayaking. Okay, we got some kayakers out here with Jim Ray. We're down at the harbor. Uh, this boat here, uh, I come up to take a look at it. Uh, I was thinking about buying it, but I don't think he really wants to sell it. The party that we had down in Wisconsin, we had a guy that was not there to win the Hummer. So we called out his name. That's all I'm gonna tell you is his nickname is One Paw. He was not there. I tried getting a hold of him. He had five minutes. So he did not receive the Hummer at that time. So right now he's going to be receiving a complimentary t-shirt. They are on order right now. So when the t-shirts come in, could be getting one. Sorry about that, one paw. You lost out on the Hummer. That was quite a. So we kind of a little rough there today. I know, so we couldn't give it away to another winner, and uh, most of my equipment got trashed out. The crowd was a little bit wild, but uh, I got out of there a few scratches. So sorry that uh, you missed out there, one paw. But you will be getting a complimentary T-shirt instead. So we're gonna take a ride on H58. Take a look around Grand Marais here. Take a look at the boats. Okay, we went into Grand Marais today. We went west on an H58. I was gonna record that and I figured, well, I'm gonna wait and come back when the leaves are prettier through there. So we'll go back up this fall and do the ride from H58 through. So that's about it for this week. We gotta get loading this up. We took off this morning like 10 o'clock and I think it's six or seven now and we ran into some people we knew, so we ended up wasting the whole day away. Imagine that, and I got a whole lot of shit to pack up, but that's the way it goes. So till the next time, everybody have a nice, safe ride.